Well, it's the second and final day of the G20 Heads of State Summit being held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. It's also the day on which South Africa will symbolically hand, be handed over the presidency of the gathering of the world's leading economies and with that the duty to host the summit next year. News from Africa's Vuyom Voko joins us live from Rio's Museum of Modern Art, where today's proceedings are about to commence. Uh, Vuyo, about to start in about an hour's time. And in fact, the live picture we had from you yesterday was also at the Museum of Modern Art in Rio. Yes, um, certainly in just over an hour, uh, proceedings will indeed begin here. In fact, uh, various heads of state have already uh, arrived for today's proceedings. And of course, uh, on the agenda today is sustainable development, but also the energy transition, a just energy transition, South Africa and your South um, uh, and the South partners are, in fact, arguing, in other words, um, care about jobs, care about the fact that uh, we need huge um, infrastructure investment to make that uh, uh, just energy transition. So that's what's going to be the uh, focus today in the first session. But the second session, of course, will be uh, that uh, handover of uh, the presidency of the G20 to President Sir Ramaphosa and the rest of the South African delegation, which means that uh, indeed preparations begin in earnest um, for next year's summit. But in between that or before that happen, uh, happens, you actually have about 200 or so meetings that South Africa will be convening in preparation for next year's summit. So tell me, Vuyo, on, on day one of the summit, do you reckon, do you get a sense that the key issues that uh, we were hoping to get some direction of, um, be it the uh, war in Ukraine, um, hunger and the crisis of poverty, climate change, were any real firm commitments, discussions had about those, those issues? Well, certainly from what the South African delegation is telling us, uh, I had an interview with the Minister of International Relations yesterday, uh, Ronald Lamola, who was waxing lyrical about the progress he says they have made inside um, that uh, chamber there. The first session, of course, was exactly um, around hunger and poverty. He says pledges have been made, but also very real. Uh, commitments have been made, um, he reckons. We will, of course, later on today get a briefing from the president on what that exactly uh, means, hopefully, will be a lot clearer. Because remember, the sessions have been closed. So all we could get was a briefing from the international relations minister, who, as I say, uh, was actually very happy that uh, such progress has actually been made. But what I think Brazil in particular has been able to do over um, the past year has been to really focus on the human side. Um, of uh, world politics. You will recall that the G20 was formed on the back of financial crises. And you had your G7 countries coming together because at the time, your financial institutions, whether you're talking about your IMFs or your world banks, or whether you're talking uh, about uh, um, uh, private banks that are in the United States or in Germany, those were owed a lot of money by a whole lot of countries. I mean, Russia was in trouble. Um, so were a lot of Asian um, um, countries. Mexico had been um, in trouble. And the whole idea of putting together the G20 was to then see how you could protect those lenders. Over the years, uh, President Lula da Silva, and this is the point he was making in both speeches he delivered yesterday, that a lot of focus over the years from the G20 has been on protecting banks, protecting private institutions, protecting your IMFs, your world banks, and not the people. So hence, the focus has been on poverty. Hence, uh, uh, South Africa is going to continue on that trajectory. In fact, President Ramaphosa addressed a meeting um, uh, the day before yesterday on the eve of the summit where he actually made the commitment that South Africa in its during its presidency is going to focus on the, on those issues hunger poverty 
uh, people being excluded, you know, how to empower uh, uh, people. But also the whole energy transition thing is actually meant to ensure that uh, millions and millions of Africans in particular actually who have access to the resources that enable development, developed uh, countries to build huge infrastructural projects should actually be, be the main beneficiaries of that, of all that uh, they actually have in their respective countries. Fuyo Mboko is live to us there in Rio for the last day of the G20 summit. Thanks very much indeed.